Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now, if you're a long time fan of the channel, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of minimalist wallets. So when Joel from Axwell Wallet got in touch a few months back and asked if I'd like to be sent uh, some Axwell wallets, well, I had to I had to just snatch his hand off and say, yeah, of course. Uh, huge fan. Now, if you're new to um, minimalist wallets, minimalist wallets really do force you to think about what you keep in your wallet. So you got you, you got those old-fashioned traditional leather bifolds that you've got receipts in there from six Christmases ago. You've got a dozen three or four dozen different cards in there. Half that stuff you just don't need. And what the Axwell wallet does is, it makes you think, do I need that or not? In this beautiful, little minimalist kind of footprint. So what I'll do is, we'll have a close look. Now actually, no, I, no I've i completely forgotten. That was very rude of me. I want to thank Joel for getting in touch and I want to thank Axwell wallets for sending a few of these to me. Um, Disclaimer, yes, they were sent to me free of charge. However, Joel completely said, I want to hear your honest opinion. So everything that we're going to give him today will be my honest opinion. Um, now, as I usually do, let's turn the camera around so that we can take a close look. But whilst I'm doing that, if at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. There's gonna, I've got some discount codes for this, so stay tuned to the end if you'd like a discount on this. Um, and if this has helped and you'd like to buy me a pint, um, just yeah, have a look at that new thank you button below. But for now, let's take a closer look at the Axwell wallet. Okay, so we've actually got a few things to look at today, which is actually quite cool. So they were good enough uh, to send two versions and I don't know if they've been through my content and they've looked at the colors that I like. Green is one of my favorite colors and copper. I love the patina that copper gets after a while. You can see where I've been holding this or at least where I hold it so that I, when I take my calls in and out. So here in this corner, just the, the oils from my fingers have, have started to, uh, to discolor this already, which is really nice. And they've also sent me this little tray. So this is an additional tray that you can use, which again, you know, we'll have a look at in a second. Now, um, what we'll do is we'll go through um, some dimensions, some materials, as we usually do, and then we'll take a closer look at each of them. Now, I'm gonna pick up this one for now. This is the green version. Hopefully you can see this is the green version. This is the copper version. There's several different colors, orange, blue, black. Um, this, as I mentioned, you know, this is the green version um, that are available on the website. Now, as far as the dimensions are con concerned, they're both identical, they're both exactly the same. So they come in at 86 millimeters by 54 millimeters. And when they're completely empty and don't have any cards in them, they're just eight millimeters thick. Now, that, the caveat with that is so that you can either have it with this cash strap that you have here, which is just an elastic strap um, with the Axwell logo there on the back, or there is also this version, which is, is available in both of them. You, you, you certainly get this, but it's just a different way that you can set it up uh, and where you can oh, <laughs> where you can have that little strap in the back. I really had to put a lot of force on that to get it off then. Um, but there is a little cash, uh, cash clip on the back as well. As far as the weight, now actually, so let's let's take a step back. Now, the version that I have here, the green version, this is 100% made from aluminium, and it is the 6061 T6 Aerospace aluminium. Do you find a lot of other similar wallets and things like that have been are using this material nowadays? Mainly down to the fact that it's just ridiculously tough. Flashlights, tactical flashlights, they all still use the same 6061, or is it the 7072? I can't, I can't quite remember, but I definitely know that this is the 6061 T6 Aerospace Aluminum, so aluminium or aluminum, depending on, you know, whichever part of the world uh, that, that you uh, that you come from. It's really nice. It's It has almost like a bead blasted sheen to it, uh, but it's anodized to, to make sure that that color is locked in fast. I've been using this quite a bit. I dropped it the other day, so I have got some little scratches on there, but it was a serious drop, and I think from the, the drop that it had, 
Structurally, there, 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 aren't, there aren't even any nick nicks into this. It, it's just had a wee scratch. Um, but this is 100% made from um, that 60-61 aluminium. So this comes in um, at, at 2.6 ounces. Copper is a lot more dense material. So as you can imagine with this one, it does weigh a little bit more. Now to give you some ideas of the, 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 the difference in construction, the plates that hold everything together here, which again, you know, we'll have we'll have a look at in a minute. These plates are made from the 6061 T6 aluminium, and the face plates that are held in with these um, these uh, the maglock. Um, um, damn it, maglock magnets. That's what I was searching for. Um, these are copper so that when they go on there, the maglocks hold them securely into place. Now the jump up in weight on this is definitely noticeable. It's probably twice, in fact, it's over twice the weight. This comes in at 5.4 ounces. Um, it's not too heavy, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> it really isn't too heavy, um, but you definitely notice the difference between the two. But that, and as I say, so that's, those weights again, don't include either the cash strap or the cash clip. For me, I carry um, six cards, and I've actually got eight cards in here, mainly because I, I just have these. These are my these are my dummy cards. Uh, so I'll just put those to one side for now. But with six cards in here, if I just put these back in, it bumps it up from eight millimeters up to twelve millimeters, which really isn't much. Twelve millimeters is roughly half an inch, not massive. If again you were unsure about how those millimeters to inches add up as far as the size on here, really all you need to do is take a card out of your pocket and there you can see it's roughly the same side. When I put the additional two cards in here, it takes it up from 12 millimeters up to, oh, do you know, I'll tell you why, it's because like an idiot I've been putting them in the wrong side. There is a lip on this side so that when you push them in, and I'm, I've just done that, which perfectly proves that I'm, I'm, bloody, I'm an idiot sometimes, um, that you can get those in. It just adds a, an extra two widths of a card, which is about a, a millimeter and a half. I'm just gonna take these out for a second just to show you a bit more of the anatomy of this i'm just going to put these to no I, t I tell you what let's have a look what's inside the box first because i have touched on this ever so slightly but you get uh, you get a little axwell sticker you also get uh, an axwell card on here which gives you more information about how it's used here you can see uh, insert up to 12 cards the minimum amount that you could keep in here which would make sense would be one card um, and you also get the clip so as i mentioned you know on here i have this with the cash strap which is also included in here but there is also a cash clip which is also included in here as well and all you need to do is be able to just slide it on with the copper version, everything is identical. So in here, if I just open this up, there is the cash strap. And on this one, I have the cash clip connected there. But you get everything else in there as well. Now, getting back to the anatomy of this. So it really, I suppose it, it, it comes down to four or five different parts. Each side has a fascia. I'm just gonna take that off there for a second has one of these fascias which is completely interchangeable so you could buy maybe the green version and then if you did want to add an additional fascia onto on here which i hadn't done this before this morning and now that i have done this this is going to be my new setup from now on because i think the green and the copper looks absolutely amazing on there but anyway and then you also have these two parts here which are the parts that your cards slide between and then we also have this really nice um what do they call it i think they call this the anti-tear um elastic so this is a very simple elastic band so when these press together, from the back end here, there is a thumb notch, so when you want to be able to take your cards out, super simple, and it's a very quite, quite a large thumb notch. I've compared this to other similar wallets. Here is the Armour wallet, and you'll be able to see that the thumb notch on here is, is quite considerably larger, but you can push those out. Whereas on this side, which was the bit that I 
kind of got the wrong way because I was pointing the wrong way. Hopefully you can see here that on the inside, these two are, um, th there is a, a smoother lip into that. If you wanted to run it, I suppose, at its bare nakedness, it would just be the strap that goes around the outside. The cards, oh, come on, why can't I put these on properly? And then the two fascias that went on there. Now, just as an extra tip, so the way that this works is, I, I believe what you're meant to do is you're supposed to take this fascia off, put this round the outside of said fascia, I line it up. Now, as far as when I say I line it up, there are actually some grooves. So if I take this one off, if you can see here, we've got two sets of grooves. The large grooves on the outside are what the main strap, which is ever so slightly wider, that will go between. Whereas the smaller cash strap actually fits into the grooves um, on, the out on the inside. So you put that on, put that on there, and then it's all ready, and then, you know, you can put your cards back in. Now, what I have found is, universal shake test, they don't shake out particularly easily. But my little tip, if you see anybody else doing this, then you know that they've seen this here. Take the fascia out from the front, and then put this all the way around. So now, if you're concerned that one piece of elastic isn't enough to keep all of your cards in there, you've now got two pieces of elastic going all the way around. And because you have both of these um, grooves in here, you can put this back on. It's actually, let me just move that over. Now you do have to just give it an extra little bit of a wiggle and that's only because you just need to make sure that it's back aligned in there but now that it's on there it's no thicker and you now have two pieces of elastic that are holding your cards into place and yeah I think that's really cool and yeah so obviously you know Little tip, little, uh, you know, little um, life hack here. You heard it here first on Moreland at EDC. So if you see other people doing it with their Axwell wallets, you know that they heard it here first. Now, the only reason I'm fiddling with that is because, like I say, once you get this just right, there you go. So there you go. So that's just right. Now, you might notice a little dink on here. Uh, Joel from Axwell Wallets, he shot his wallet with a 2-2 long rifle and it stopped the bullet. So for a laugh, I thought, you know what, let's see if it will stop a six millimeter um, um, airsoft pellet. And yeah, it did. But I think that's really cool because it gives it a little bit of, um, a little bit of character. Now, one of the things, the other things that they also sent as well is that you can, or you can purchase these separately and it's just a little tray so that if you like to carry um, a certain coin or maybe you want to keep your keys or something like that in here now because this is just the extra little bit wider and because I've done my double the uh, the, the Moorlander double elastic technique it does make it a little bit tougher to get in there but once it's in there you know it's not particularly difficult to get out and then what you can do again is you can push that out I actually put it in the wrong way around you should have it against the cards so that if you wanted to get a key you wanted to get some coins out of there you could do that as well now I have had some other wallets either side of here just kind of loitering around let's put this back to how it should be and I'm just gonna put I really do love this one and I think with those on there, it's ace. Anyway, so putting these back on here, I'm just gonna move those over because as I mentioned, you know, I have had these other wallets just loitering around. So I'm a huge fan of minimalist wallets and I own quite a lot. All of these wallets that you'll see here today have all been reviewed here on the channel. And I think it's only right to start with the armor wallet so the armor wallet and the axwell wallet are kin you know they they are from the same family um i was sent the armor wallet a couple years back and i still do use this wallet it's still in my still in my um my 
wallet rotor that I that I've just happened to switch around and when I'm not using these cards I keep them inside this wallet to make sure that they're all nice and safe the main difference between these in fact let's put them side to side and back to back you can see hopefully they're from above they are exactly the same size when I put a card on top of that they're the same as well now the difference main difference with this one is that all of the face plates that are on top of the the actual closure plates these are all held into place with these um, these fastenings you have to screw these in so if you wanted to you can still change the face plates on this but it, it's such a fiddle and such a faff now don't get me wrong if you're not doing it every single day then it doesn't make that much of a difference but it's a hell of a lot easier to be able to do it with the Axwell wallet, which I think the Axwell wallet is is the evolution of uh, of the Armour wallet here. Um, to go through some others, so this is the Secret. Oh no, it isn't. Sorry, this is the Code One One Eight wallet. Um, another. Um, minimalist wallet when I put them from side to side like this you'll be able to see that this is definitely thinner the difference with this one is if I only put two cards in here it's still the same thickness whereas if I take all of the cards out of here apart from two then it has reduced in size now that that's one of the things that I've, I've always said in the past when it comes to minimalist wallets which is the way for you to go if you choose one of the ways you can go down a route where it's always going to be the same thickness or you can go down a route if you change cards regularly that you know you can take advantage of the fact that this will be thinner if you if you take more cards out because this has this little ejection kind of um, doohickey here at the bottom you can see it's probably a good two and a half centimeters longer and when I put them on top of each other you can see that the Axwell wallet sits on top and you can see the code 118 the stealth wallet underneath through uh, around the sides of it really nice wallet but um, definitely a, a little bit larger then we have the Atenuo wallet version 2 and this has been one of my favorite wallets ever but again on this one so the way that this one works is it's similar in the fact that no matter how many cards you put in here it's always going to be the same thickness so there's five cards but if I put five, five cards in here, yeah, then you know, you'd notice the difference. But if I take them out, you can make this thinner. Back to back, if I put this so that it's in the corner just there, you can see that the Atenua wallet comes out by maybe an extra six or seven millimeters. And from the top, there's another three or four millimeters at the top there as well. But side to side, they are roughly the same width. Now, the main difference with some of these other ones it's probably unfair to show them against this mainly because you know these these are leather wallets but again whether whether you're into leather or whether you're into these uh, nice harder aluminium style materials this is the fox c is it the c1 or the c2 i forget which one this is similar in size you can put this on top this one is made from leather and elastic but you can see that the leather does just poke out ever so slightly at the side uh, this is from Sama Leatherworks. This is their ultra minimalistic wallet. And again, you know, if I put this on the side there, you can see that there's probably an extra, say, seven or eight mil there, maybe three or four mil at the top. But from side to side, because of the additional construction that you get with an aluminium wallet, you can, I'm sure you can imagine that the aluminium wallet is a little bit wider. And then we have this last wallet. So this is from Mowall Wallets, and this is made from wood leather, which is a really very kind of cool material. Putting this on the top, again, you can see there that there's probably an extra 7 or 8 mil. A little bit more so on this one, there's probably an extra 7 or 8 mil there at the top as well. Uh, and from the side, with no cards uh, in the Mowall Wallet, it's probably roughly the same thickness as well. But yeah, you know, I think that... that Minimalist wallets are the future and I think these are great examples of, of, of how a minimalist wallet should be made. Now I think Axwell wallets have definitely nailed what they've set out to do and that is to create a minimalist wallet that's highly customizable, keeps your cards nice and safe and gets you in that mindset of a minimalist wallet as far as what you carry in here, moving away from those old fashioned 
bill folds that were three inches thick and you know you needed to go and see a chiropractor after you'd spent a day sitting on one in the office. Um, for me, I work in graphic design, so I spend seven hours a day. Um, I think, strictly speaking, these are classed as front pocket style wallets. Um, maybe my big fat arse certainly doesn't struggle molding around something like this. Um, so having this in my back pocket for seven hours a day and sitting on it, it certainly doesn't. I, d I, d I don't sit there thinking, whoa, what's that poking into me? I highly recommend that little, um, the double switch over kind of setup that I have with this, especially if you are having it in your back pocket, mainly due to the fact that sometimes you can get it out and it's kind of, um, it, it's misaligned itself, but mainly that's due to the fact that I, you know, I have it in my back pocket when it's, it's designed mainly for the front, but other than that, I think this is a great wallet and I think it does a good job of separating itself from other similar wallets that are on the market at the moment. I know that's something that I've kind of touched on recently with a few other items that I've made some content on. And there's a lot of people that will quite straight away go, oh, it's just like this or it's just like that. But I think the main difference is, are they doing enough to kind of separate themselves out and, and kind of have their own identity? And I definitely think that the actual wallet does that with these interchangeable bits and sneak peek. Okay, I'm going to be doing another piece of content on this because I'm, I'm a man of science. I love science and I'm going to do a force patina on this. I'm going to show you how I do a force patina. Um, not that it's different to how anybody else does it, but give you some science behind it as well. So stay tuned to see more from the copper Axwell wallet. Now, I'm getting towards the end of this, so I think by closing it up, saying another huge thank you to Axwell Wallets for sending these out to me. Um, I did mention at the beginning of this that there is a 10% discount code, so if you use the link below in my description and use the discount code MORELANDER10, then you'll be able to get 10% discount off this. And as previously mentioned, um, part of the proceeds from every single wallet that is sold um, goes to the homeless veteran goes to homeless veterans. I was going to say the Homeless Veterans Association, but I don't know if there's a Homeless Veterans Association. It just goes directly to home, homeless veterans. So I always certainly think that that's a, that's a, a great and honourable thing for Axel Wallace to be doing. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all of their links below. I'll leave some of my social media links below as well. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay EDC. I'm expecting the postman to turn up today. A new silencer on the way. Every single time I hear something that I think is a door, when I'm out here, it's not the door. So, that's sounds a lot, isn't it? So, boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> Shoot. Hi, I'm the Moorlander, and this is Moorlander EDC. Now, it's no surprise when... No, it's not a surprise. What's the word? It's no... There you go. Told you. Now, that's definitely not. That's for the wife. It's uh, definitely not a silencer. <laughs>